Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content that I have on my channel. As you saw from the video description, I'm going to be showing you uh, what I put into my Operation, Operation Christmas Child boxes, OCC boxes. It is um, Friday, November 10th, and this is the week that they need to be put into the distribution centers or the, the places where you can drop them off. I would look in your area, Google on your phones, find out where the drop-off areas are in your local area and see if you can get a box put together. I couldn't even begin to imagine. I can tell you a few things. Um, I spent a little more on this uh, these boxes than I did before uh, just because there were a few extra little quality things that I wanted to put in there. And uh, I'm going to now pause it and take you through. Both boxes are basically identical. So um, with just a few differences in, you know, the type of color book I bought. But basically they all have the exact same things. It's, there's two of them. I made two. And so let me pause this and then turn it around. All right, I've got it turned around and I added a little bit of extra light. These are the larger boxes from Walmart. They come four in a pack. This is like the size shoe box that a man would have. Uh, normally, I have not used this size before, but because of what I got, I felt this is what I needed to get. So uh, I have two that I've put together, and so and they're both identical with the exception of the type of doll. Uh, so right on, right away, you can see that I've got a color book in here. I thought this is fun. I also have a spiral notebook with 100 pages in it. I thought that would be good for school. Let me turn it this way. Okay. I have one of these soft little girl elf dolls from the Dollar Tree. And this, by the way, uh, these are both for little girls ages 4 to 9. That's the age of my granddaughter. And so... That's what I buy for, so is her age. I know it's the most common, that age group. I did get this tactical flashlight from the Dollar Tree with three AA, batter three AAA batteries that are in here. This has a light this way and a light that way. So I thought that would be nice. Some places are super dark. This is the larger water bottle. I figure I got this one because I figured it'd be easy for them to carry. But inside, um, I have a lip balm that I took out of the packaging. I have a set of the primary markers I got in the Dollar Tree uh, for uh, $1.25. I took them out of their packaging and stuck them in here. This bottle itself came from the Dollar Tree. This is a toothbrush, uh, a Barbie toothbrush that comes with the... the um, toothbrush protector but it's also in a cute little vinyl zipper case so I just uh, took the cardboard packaging that was inside so that I could roll it up and stick it down inside here and this down here is a Dorables uh, little necklace charm necklace and it's there's several charms dangling from it I hauled that I think a while ago and I got those on clearance for like a dollar and fifty cents at Walmart and basically you open the package without even know what kind of charms you have. This one is the Moana. The After I got three of them and compared the charms and then added all the charms for Moana on one. And let me see if I can get that out for you to see. It's really adorable. But this allows them to have their own water bottle. And that's one of the things you can definitely do. Uh, with your um, Operation Christmas Child uh, containers, the drink bottles, is put things inside them so you can get more in it. And then this is a fun little necklace. This is the locket. It's the little door. It opens up. There's a sticker inside of Moana. And then you have the mountain and, you know, the different... I had three of them and... Uh, I kept one for my granddaughter, and the other two are in these boxes. And I thought that that'll be super fun for them. OK. 
Okay. Set that there. This is a wine bottle holder that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this is where I put... It comes with a Santa hat for the wine bottle, but it's, it'd be cute to go on top of. This is Isabella Mirabel. Uh, she was on clearance for $4.97 at Walmart. I obviously removed her from the packaging so that she will fit in here. Oops, where's the clip? I think it went right here. The Santa hat's a little tight. got to fit on there better it was on there and when I was putting the Santa hat on it knocked the barrette off there we go okay so she's in here with her shoes now by the way these dolls even though they're shaped differently they do fit regular Barbie clothes I don't have any extra Barbie clothes for her and you'll see why in a moment because this is not the only lovely toy surprise in here for this little girl but this is the wow one Actually, the other one might be a wow one, too, but she's getting both nonetheless. <laughs> she's getting them both. Okay. So you're talking a $4. Now, I saw someone use use these for their, um, their special surprise when they were putting a Barbie doll in it. I thought that was a nice little touch, and I thought, I'm going to do that. So there she is in there. I picked up a Hello Kitty match game. Now, this isn't themed. I've seen some people theme their things, and I think that's really awesome. Um, here's a puzzle that I took out of the box so that it could lay flat, and I got the picture that it's supposed to look like. But with the other one, I actually cut this open and stuck this inside, and I may just do that with this one also. Um, here is... A bar of soap I took out of the box and here is a special washcloth to go with it okay so the hygiene items here's a comb and the toothbrush is in this bottle and then the soap in the wash rag okay and then here in this little bag these are Dollar Tree they were three for a dollar you can get the ones that are Christmas they have them every season I got these a while ago and I just pulled them out of my stock this has all kinds of cute little rubber bands and barrettes and clips and all kinds of things in here for her I thought that'll be nice this right here is let's see this necklace kit plus some extra beads that I had in my collection that I went ahead and um, took out and I put all those things inside here because there were some loose charms and you can see that she's got a fun little bead kit where she can keep all her things and there's also instructions in there uh, from the necklace making kit right here that I folded up and stuck inside okay so that's a nice little activity Here's some brand new socks for her. I believe it's three pair. So some socks. I got the Jot brand crayons. I know that Crayola is tops, but I have tested these and they are, they are really good. They really are good. So I got some metallic crayons and some skin tone crayons. Okay, let's leave those there. And then I got a couple of these Crayola sticker activity pads. This mermaid one, it's got fun pictures to color in addition to the color book I had. And then this kitty cat one, same thing. And then there's a sheet of some fun stickers. So those are set aside nice and flat. Um, this is a glittery ruler from the Dollar Tree. This is another reason why I got this bigger box is because I wanted to be able to fit that ruler in there. Uh, I got a mirror. Hi, everyone. I got a mirror that she can prop up to look at her face and to get herself ready. And this is one of the drawstring backpacks. I thought that would be really uh, a valuable for her. I have a pencil pouch. That is loaded. There's some stickers in there. Uh, 
I have some sharpened colored pencils. Let's see if I can get these out without disassembling. I could take those out of their packaging, but I think they're fine. I have a calculator. Even though they might be little, there's a Crayola pencil sharpener that also sharpens crayons. I also have in there a pair of scissors. I have some loose erasers, some Ticonderoga pencils, regular pencils, eraser caps, ballpoint pens, and some Papa Point pencils with erasers. So I just wanted to give them several options. And all of that fits inside. Now I did hear that there are people who create um, not full-blown um, Christmas child boxes, but filler bags. And the, it's generally the stuff that gets left behind. You could contact Operation Christmas Child and ask about that. But I've seen people putting together things with school supplies because for whatever reason, people forget or they don't pay attention that that's something they need to do. It'll have crayons. It'll have some activities. It'll have some other things in it. And you can look and ask them what it is. Now, this is the other wow surprise gift. This was from the Dollar Tree. This was in the Forever Friends line, the little case. Open up this side, and there's the doll. You guys remember these? Very cute. She's articulated. These clothes do come off. And on the other side, we have one of every dress that was available at first. And then they have the new Forever Friends fashion outfits that come with accessories that I took out of the packaging. You'll see it right there. There's the boots, and I believe the the let's see there's the boots where's the purse oh and there's the there's the little purse right there and the necklace is in there somewhere but I wanted this to be a nice little I mean would you love to get something like that if you were a little girl I know I would have loved to get something like this so I want you to you know and obviously I took her out of her packaging. I took these out of their packaging. I took the dresses out of their packaging and just stuck them all in here. And then, you know, she'll have some good play options for when she, you know, opens this up. Now, this is, in my opinion, I can't even think of anything else that I could possibly fit in here. But you guys see, I'm trying not to Trying to get these things back in here the way I had them. Thankfully, these I got the bigger. Um, oops, sorry. Okay. And there you have it. I can obviously pack that a little bit better, but you guys get the idea. Um, okay, and that's it. That I have two of those, two of those Operation Christmas Child boxes. You can see. I hope that gives you guys some ideas. I know this weekend is the weekend that they're collecting them, so I do urge you once again to repeat myself, to go on to Google and ask where the Operation Christmas Child Box drop-off is in your area. Then go to Walmart. If you don't have to get one of these big ones. I, you know, you could get loose notebook paper instead of putting in a spiral notebook. Um, you can get, you know, smaller things. You can get smaller boxes of crayons. You could take the crayons out of their boxes. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But just by getting one box, and if you go onto the Operation Christmas Child website, they will have lists of things that you can get. They do want you to have school supplies, hygiene items, um, and then a, a good quality toy, and then a bunch of other little fun filler things, some kind of an activity. And they have the different age groups and the recommendations for each age group. Uh, things I didn't put in here were the little matchbox cars. Those are always appreciated by all age groups. A jump rope is always a nice thing as well. So there's a whole variety of things. And then they check them out at the processing center. 
And anything that's lacking something, they try to fill in the gaps. They don't want any child to get a half empty box. But I make sure that I have enough in there that there's no need for them to add additional items to my box. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys decide to come on board with this really worthy organization and this special ministry to children. Now, it doesn't mean that they're going to get their box on Christmas or by Christmas. They, it takes a while for them to collect them. And there's also a way for you to go onto the website and to make a donation to cover the shipping. You don't have to, but that's always helpful. That's less money they have to pull from uh, other resources in order to get these things shipped. Because they, I guess they ship them over by boat, I think. I'm not sure. Then it's got to clear customs. It can take months. It could be spring by the time they get these. So, But when you go on and you make your donation, uh, they give you a tracking number for your um, label or for your box. You are able to see where your box went. Now, you won't see a picture of a child with your box, although that would be a dream come true. But you do see that your, your box went to a certain country you know, wherever that is. And um, we've done this, I've done this before, and they've been in South America, they've been in Eastern Europe, they've been in Asia, Africa. I mean, they, they send them all kinds of places and it's really wonderful to see. You could also put a photograph of yourself in there if you want to. I'm not gonna do that, I'm, you know, uh, it's okay. They don't need to see me. They I want the love of Jesus to go and there's always materials that are, uh, put in there. This It's really nice. Go check out the website, Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child. Look and see if it's something you'd like to be a part of. I have no connection aside from being somebody who puts together a box. I'm not an employee of that ministry or that organization. I don't even, this is, this is my connection to them is putting together these boxes. But to me, being a children's minister, I really love doing this. And what a great thing to do with your children or your grandchildren. Help them to think of another child somewhere. What a nice little project for you to put this together, to pay for the shipping, to track and see where it's gone. And then they'll wind up sending you some kind of an email that tells you where your box went and being able to mark it on a map. How fun. What a nice little activity for them. But anyway, I hope that's given you some inspiration and some ideas. Comment below. Let me know if you're going to be doing this uh, this year or even next year. It's really great to start early. So December 26th, when everything gets clearanced out, start grabbing the stuff that you want to put in your boxes for next year because they do need people to send over things they've collected, even if you're not putting together a box the distribution centers or the people that take them, you can mark them, bag them up and say, this is for the distribution center for fillers, filler bag or something. They need those things too. So thanks you guys for spending a little time with me. Once again, I hope you're inspired to connect yourself with such a worthy cause. God bless you and bye until next time.